Welcome back to the Self Starter Podcast. I'm your host, Nicole Lauren, and I'm so excited that you're here. We're going to be chatting about Chat GPT, which is a very, I don't want to say very, but it is somewhat of a controversial topic. Um, and I don't want to speak to any of the ethical or like uh, any of those things because I don't feel equipped to do so. Um, but I'm going to just kind of deep dive into chat GPT in a practical way and give you some tips and insight on how you can use chat GPT in your specifically wedding photography business. Now, even if you're not a wedding photographer, I would encourage you to stick around because these prompts that I'm going to kind of teach you about and how you can use chat GPT can also be easily translatable into your own small business. Um, just because I'm saying things for wedding photographers doesn't mean you can't tweak it for your own business. So highly encourage you to stick around. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started. There are five ways that I used chat GPT in my business last week when I was coming up with content creation ideas. And I was like, hey, I need to put these into a podcast episode because they're just so, so good. Um, the way that I've approached chat GPT in my own business is kind of like someone to just bounce ideas off of. I definitely don't want to just rely only on chat GPT to do all of my content creation because then that's going to take out my personality. And with my personal brand, my personality, I think, matters a lot. It's what attracts a lot of my clients and a lot of my audience. And so I don't want to ever lose that. But as you know, as a business owner, it can be really easy to hit a mental block, creative block. Um, and so I've used chat GPT mainly for copywriting prompts, um, but in a lot of different and unique ways. So let's talk about these five specific ways I used them last week that I think are so, so good that you might want to use in your own business too. So if you're following along on the YouTube video, um, reminder, if you're only listening on the podcast right now, I do put the podcast episodes in video form. It's not just a screen like shot with audio. It's actually a video of me talking. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll leave a link down below for the YouTube channel. Um, but if you are on YouTube, I'm going to put these prompts up in text format. Okay. The first prompt that I used, give me 100 trending ideas for YouTube videos to educate beginning and seasoned wedding photographers. So if you are not a photographer or if that's not your target audience, then you can input whatever you want. Um, but what I like about this prompt is that it's giving me 100. That's the first key here, 100. So it's a lot of ideas. The second thing is that they're trending. Also, YouTube videos. So specifically saying that I want them for YouTube videos and also my target audience. So beginning and seasoned wedding photographers, that's the formula. So if you're following along, um, that is what you would input into chat GPT. And I got so many great ideas for YouTube. No, I'm not going to use all of them. They are definitely not all something that aligns with me. They were all really good ideas, but not all of them aligned with my business. And that's totally fine. The reason I did a hundred of them is so that I could weed through them and also just get like the creative juices flowing. All right. The second prompt that I used was give me a course outline for a course educating wedding photographers on how to take their business full time. Okay. This one blew my mind. Um, I have been working on a course for a while now, for like over a year. And no, I did not just copy and paste this course outline and then like run with it. I have a course outline that I've been working on for, for like over a year. The course outline that ChatGPT came up with was honestly so, so good. Like it was, it was awesome. It had modules, it had lessons, it had descriptions and it was such a great starting point. So if you're trying to get into the online digital space, like selling products, selling courses, wow, what a great resource chat GPT would be for you to kind of just get your juices flowing and get like a whole course outline out there. Not saying that you obviously are just going to use it verbatim, but gets you at least in the door and helps you get started. So definitely if you're interested in like creating some sort of digital product, some sort of course, chat GPT could be a great resource for you. I went a little um, deeper on that one too. So this, this just shows you like the breadth. I don't know if the breadth is the right word, but like the vast amount of specificity you can have for your prompts. And so this is just to give you an example of how you could even go further with that prompt that we just talked about. So the third prompt that I used was write me a three module, 
15 lesson course outline for a course about how to host style shoot events as a wedding photographer successfully through the planning and execution process and how to make money from having others attend. This is another course idea I have. But when I looked at the course outline that ChatGBT came up with, it was literally almost identical to the course outline that I had. It was so, so good. Um, I don't even know how it works, but it was amazing. So this just goes to show you that you can get really, really specific. You can even ask ChatGPT for like specific number of modules, specific number of lessons, and also get really specific on what you want the course to teach, you know, how I said planning and execution process and how to make money from having others attend. And they seamlessly put that into the course outline. So it was really, really cool to see. Right, the fourth prompt that I used last week in ChatGPT was write me a five email marketing sequence to effectively sell my course called The Wedding Walkthrough. And it is a course that I sell. I already have a five email marketing sequence that I use in my business. So um, this is not something that I necessarily need, but I was just seeing if it would work. If they would even come up with something that's usable and good, and it seriously was, uh, but that's not the end of the prompt. So um, the course, so I say write me a five email marketing sequence to effectively sell my course called the wedding walkthrough period. The course is essentially an opportunity for talk to for photographers to watch me shoot an entire wedding day, start to finish and talk through my process with them. It's ideal for beginning photographers who want more experience in weddings. And let me tell you, this AI tool had no idea about my business, but and I had no idea about that course, but with that short little description, it came up with an amazing five email sequence that if I wanted to, I could copy and paste and put into Flowdesk and send to market my course. So I am not saying I'm gonna necessarily do that. Um, obviously I wanna tweak some things, but it's a great way to just get, again, get you started, get your foot in the door. And if you have no experience with marketing or sales emails, this is huge because you don't have to watch a course. You don't have to like, you know, seriously invest in education. Obviously, I'm always a proponent that you should invest in education. This can shortcut some of that for you and help you to get started. Um, definitely like get started and then get going is my motto. So imperfect action is better than no action. Um, and I think ChatGPT really helps us do that. All right, the last prompt that I used in my business from ChatGPT last week was create emails templates for me for my photography business for these scenarios colon wedding photography inquiry gallery delivery and asking for reviews and i put all of those three in there because i hang out on facebook groups a good bit and i like to see what other people are asking questions about and try to help on there and those three emails were there's something that i hear frequently asked about like how do I respond to inquiries better? How do you guys send over gallery delivery? How do you ask for more reviews? How do you even get more reviews? And the, the awesome thing is even those questions are something that you could ask chat GPT directly even. Um, that is just so, so crazy to me. It came up with amazing email templates that um, were really good. Now, obviously, again, it's not something that I'm just gonna copy and paste into my business, but especially if you're a beginning photographer or you're just getting started in your business, whatever you do, ChatGPT is a great way to get started. And so I highly, highly recommend that you check it out. If you do, definitely let me know in the comments below or over on Instagram DMs. Um, I'd love to hear the prompts that you use for ChatGPT. One more thing I wanna mention is that if you are a beginning wedding photographer or if you've maybe been in this for a while and you're just ready to take your photography business full time, I have a free resource for you. It's gonna be linked down in the description. It's called the Full-Time Photographer's Playbook. It is a 30 page PDF e-guide, absolutely free, talks you through all my strategies of how I quit my full-time nine to five and went full-time in my photography business and have had great success. So would love to have you check it out. And if you do, let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.